In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Send forth thy spirit and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did teach the hearts of thy faithful people, by sending them the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us by the same spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. An act of contrition. My God, I believe in thee. I hope in thee. I love thee above all things, with all my soul, with all my heart, and with all my strength. I love thee because thou art infinitely good and worthy of being loved. And because I love thee, I repent with all my heart of having offended thee. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Invocations to Our Lady. We fly to thy patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but ever deliver us from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. O Mother of Perpetual Succor, Thou whose very name inspires confidence, Help me, O loving Mother, That I may love and serve God with all my heart. Help me, O loving Mother, That I may never neglect prayer. Help me, O loving Mother, In temptations against the holy virtue of purity. Help me, O loving Mother, That I may quickly rise again, Should I have the misfortune to fall into sin. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may labor zealously to get rid of my sinful habits. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may courageously resist the seductions of the world, evil companions, bad books and films. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may often and devoutly receive the sacraments and fulfill my Christian duties and the duties of my state. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may be patient and resigned in all trials and troubles of life. Help me, O loving Mother. In sickness and pain, in poverty and distress. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may not delay my conversion from day to day. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may ever love and serve Thee and invoke Thy assistance. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may be able to lead others to love, serve and pray to Thee. Help me, O loving Mother. When death is near and I am about to pass into eternity. Help me, O loving Mother. To my last hour, to my last breath, do thou watch over me. Help me, O loving Mother. Pray for us, O Mother of Perpetual Succor, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Almighty and merciful God, who in order to assist the human race, has willed the Blessed Virgin Mary to become the mother of thy only begotten Son, grant we beseech thee that by her intercession we may avoid the contagion of sin and serve thee with a pure heart through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us at this moment offer up all our prayers and thanksgiving for the many favors that we have received through the intercession of Mother Mary. In thanksgiving for securing a job in New Zealand, for settlement of a court case, for a good MRI report, for a cure from COVID-19, for obtaining a green card for the United States, 
for securing a first class in the BCom exams, for all the favors and blessings received, for the gift of a child, for a good life partner, for a cure from cancer, for a successful heart checkup, for a successful kidney stone operation. We also offer to the Lord our various petitions and prayers that through the intercession of Mother Mary, the Lord may grant our heart's desires. We pray for a person to secure a job in the United States, for a successful open heart surgery, for good health of all family members, for removal of kidney stone, for a cure from cancer of cervix and chemo, for a cure of slip disc, for a cure of brain tumor and high BP, for a person with a paralytic attack, for a person who's critical in the ICU, for a cure from COVID-19, for a cure from urinary tract infection, for a successful knee operation, for a new house, to clear engineering ATKT exams, for a lady with too many complications in her body, for complete cure and for the reports to be normal, for the gift of a child, for a visa to Canada, for a person with a brain stroke and to be free from all financial debts. We also pray for all those who are sick and suffering in hospitals, for our near and dear loved ones. We pray for those in our family, for our spouses, our children, our parents, our siblings. We also pray for all those who have asked for our prayers and all those whom we have promised to pray for. And we lift up to the Lord our own personal intentions. Naveen, our prayers. O Mother of Perpetual Succor, behold me a miserable sinner at thy feet. I have recourse to thee and put my trust in thee. O Mother of Mercy, have pity upon me. I hear thee call by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then my refuge and my hope. Succor me for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch forth thy hand to me, a poor sinner, who recommend and dedicate myself to thee as thy perpetual servant. I bless and thank God for having in his mercy given me this confidence in thee, the pledge as I believe of my eternal salvation. Alas, too often in past times have I miserably fallen because I had not recourse to thee. I know that with thy help I shall conquer. I know that thou wilt help me if I recommend myself to thee. But I fear lest in the occasion of falling, I should cease to call upon thee, and so should lose my soul. This then is the grace I seek from thee, and I beg of thee as far as I know how and can, to obtain it for me, namely in the assaults of hell, always to have recourse to thee and say to thee, O Mary, help me, mother of perpetual succor, Suffer me not to lose my God. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, succor the miserable, help the faint-hearted, cheer those that weep, Pray for the people, 
be the advocate of the clergy, intercede for all devout women, let all feel thy aid who implore thy perpetual succor. Thou hast been made for us, O Lady, a refuge, a helper in need and tribulation. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us thy mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate to be our mother, ever ready to succor us, grant we beseech thee that we who earnestly implore her maternal aid may deserve to enjoy perpetually the fruit of thy redemption who lives and reigns, world without end. Amen. Mother dear, oh pray for me, once far from heaven and thee. I wander in a fragile bar, Oh, life's tempestuous sea. O oh, Virgin Mother, from thy throne, so bright in bliss above, protect thy child and cheer my path with thy sweet smile. Mother dear, oh pray for me and never cease thy care till in heaven eternally thy love and bliss I share. My dear brothers and sisters, in life we go through various kinds of circumstances. Some difficult, some that bring us joy and happiness. And all of these evoke various feelings in us. For example, if we meet a person we love, we feel so happy. If we eat something we like, we are satisfied. If we don't get something we want, then we become angry. If someone irritates us, we feel annoyed and disgusted. If we hear some bad news, we may feel sad. And therefore, all throughout the day, we go through various feelings and many a times these feelings control us, our actions and our relationships. And very often, brothers and sisters, sometimes we base our spirituality, our relationship with God on feelings. If I feel like praying, then I will pray. If something bad happens to me, I may feel like praying all the more harder or sometimes I may just give up on God. Brothers and sisters, the Lord challenges us not to base our spirituality and our relationship with Him based on feelings, but on faith, a faith that is founded on conviction. When we base our spirituality on feelings, it is based not on reason, but rather our feelings are based on emotions rather than intellect or understanding but when our faith is founded on conviction it is a decision of our conscience I like what the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence 
of things not seen. And therefore, when we live our lives based on conviction, then nothing can deter us. Nothing can drag us down. And everything that we do, we ask ourselves just one question. Keep this in mind. Just one question. What is it that I want from this person? What is it that I want to achieve by behaving in this particular manner? What is it that I want from this thing? And then we will be able to reason out and understand. And then we will be able to live our lives based on the principles of our faith, based on conviction. And this is how we become strong in our relationship with God, brothers and sisters. I want to share with you four ways that will help us to be strong in the Lord. All of us are called to have a solid faith, a foundation that is based on conviction rather than just feelings. And the first thing, to be strong in the Lord, we need to embrace the truth. What is the truth? Or rather, what is true? What is it that we can firmly believe in? Heaven and earth will pass away, but God says, my words will never pass away. This is the truth of God's word. And when we listen to God's word, and when we apply God's word in our lives, that's when we will see a change, miracles. Nothing can pull us down. But if we live our lives based on what people tell us, and we live according to their standards, and get affected by what people say, then that may lead us to disaster. It is not the label that matters, brothers and sisters, but it is how God defines you. It is not our degrees, our doctorates, our positions. But it is what God thinks of you. God himself says, I have carved you on the palm of my hand. You are mine. Why should we base ourselves on what people feel and think? But rather, let us be convicted of the truth, the truth that lies in God's word. Secondly, brothers and sisters, if we want to be strong in the Lord, we also need to face and embrace trouble. We need to be prepared to face trouble in our lives. Without any trouble in our life, we will not be able to grow strong. Rather, we would become complacent, lethargic, lazy. But rather, every kind of trouble that we encounter should make us grow stronger and deeper in our faith convictions. Knowing that we are not alone, but at every moment, in every circumstance, in every pain, in every suffering, God is with us. He is with you. He sees your tears. He knows your pain. And he will never leave you. But rather, let us ask ourselves this question. What is it that God is showing me through these circumstances, the difficult moments. Don't just sit back and do nothing and cry, but rather 
turn to Jesus and say, Lord, what is your way in this situation? And surely, brothers and sisters, God speaks to us through every trouble, in every difficult situation. God is speaking to you. If we could only calm ourselves and listen to his voice, there will be many things that you and I can learn and grow stronger in our faith. The third thing, brothers and sisters, if we want to grow strong in the Lord, is to also not fear temptations. At every moment of our life, you and I will be tempted. At every moment. The temptation may be something to choose between right and wrong. A temptation to give in to cheap pleasure. A temptation to do something silently which probably no one will even know about. But in these times of temptations, they are a test for us to really respond in love to God and His ways. But the moment we give in to temptations, thinking that we will get away with it, we may not be responding correctly and in an appropriate way to what God wants of us. No matter how strong the temptations may be, the word of God tells us in the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 13, that in every temptation, God always provides a way out. And we need to make the effort, brothers and sisters. Faith is not just sitting back and relaxing and saying, Oh Lord, you are my God. No. We need to respond. We need to put in effort. And when we choose the right from the wrong, when we make that response to what God wants of us, that's when we will experience victory and you will see the grace of God in your life. Do not fear temptations, brothers and sisters. But remember, with every temptation, God gives you enough and sufficient grace to turn away from sin and embrace him. And lastly, brothers and sisters, the fourth thing, if we want to go, grow strong in the Lord, is that we need to give time. Many times we want things to work out according to our pace, according to the way we would like it to be. But rather, let us learn to surrender to God's time. Let us learn to be patient with ourselves and with God. Because God's time is the best time. He knows exactly what you need. He knows what is best for us. And therefore, let us surrender ourselves. Even when we see things happening, let us understand that God has a time. That through every dark moment, there will be light. God's ways are much greater than our ways. And the only thing we need to do is surrender ourselves to his time. Another aspect would be, when we talk about time, is not just to praise him and thank him when everything is all right, but also to turn to him when our, the, when the boat of our lives is disturbed, when we are troubled. At all times, praise God. In every circumstances, give thanks to Him. Rejoice always, for this is the will of God. And therefore, in order to be
be strong in the Lord, to be grounded in the truth, to be able to embrace trouble, to face temptations, and to praise God at all times, let us always stay connected to Jesus. Stay connected to Jesus at all times. Not only during prayer, not only during a service or a meeting, but at all times. Every time we wake up, each time we go to sleep, and all throughout the day, stay connected to Jesus because He is with you. He is watching over you. And He has a great plan for you. Let us pray during this novena that we will be strong in the Lord and may His strength guide us, guard us, and lead us always. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the world incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Merciful Lord, whose mercies are without number and whose goodness is without end, you abide with your people in a wondrous manner and are with us all days, even to the end of time. By your kindly presence, direct our minds. With your guiding love, watch over our paths. With your powerful help, Deliver us from every tribulation, from all danger and sin, that we may on earth always live with you and in you, and in your eternal dwelling, enjoy your presence forever. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Lord, hear my prayer. And, my, and my, let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, that these thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be amongst you to defend you, within you to preserve you, before you to guide you, after you to guard you, above you to bless you, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Through the intercession of our mother, perpetual Sankha, may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Mary from thy sacred image With those eyes so sadly sweet Mother of perpetual succor See us kneeling at thy feet In thy arms thy child thou bearest so so full thy joy and woe What thy bliss, how deep thy sorrows Mother thou alone canst know Let us bow in adoration To this sacrament so great here is new and perfect worship all the old master minute 
glory, honor, adoration. Let us sing with one accord. Praise be God Almighty Father. Praise be Christ His Son, our Lord. Praise be God the Holy Spirit. Triune Godhead be adored. Let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us the memorial of your passion. Grant that we may so reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that the taste of the fruit of your redemption may ever be within us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The divine praises all together. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Mother dearest, mother fairest, Help of all who call on thee. Virgin purest, brightest, rarest, Help us, help, we cry to thee. Mary, help us, help, we pray. Mary, help us, help, we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help, we pray. Mary, help in pain and sorrow. Soothe those wrapped on bed of pain. May the golden light of morrow bring them health and joy again. Mary, help us, help, we pray. Mary, help us, help, we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help, we pray. Help our priests, our sisters lowly. Help our Pope, long may he reign. Pray that we who sing thy praises may in heaven all meet again. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help 
us help we pray Mary help the absent loved ones how we miss their presence here may the hand of thy protection God and guide them far and near Mary help us help we pray Mary help us help we pray help us in all care and sorrow Mary help us help we pray In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen, Amen.